this is Allure GB and this is day six of 12 days of paginated reports and in today's video we're going to have a look at page headers and repeating rows at the top of tables. So here we are in our deliveries report as we left it yesterday. If we move to page two you can see there is no header at the top so we don't know what the different columns are and there's no title at the top of the report at all. So we're going to look at changing that. So let's switch over to the report builder. And the first thing we're going to have a look at is page headers. So we go on to the insert ribbon. And on header, we click add header. And there we are, it appears at the top there. Now what I want to do is I want to put the report name on page two onwards. So let's go to built in fields, take report name and drag and drop it into the page header. And then let's go over to the right hand side to position it and size it. So the location is going to be zero, zero and my size, I'm going to make the width, the full width of the page. So let's go for 18 centimeters. And the height, I'm gonna make it a little bit bigger, 0.75 will work. And then up on the home ribbon, I'm gonna up the font to be 16. So there we are, we've got our report name at the top there. So we don't want the report name on the first page twice. We also need to make the header a little shorter so we don't end up with a white gap. So I right click in the header space just below that label and I go to header properties. Now here it's us showing us what page do you want it on there. So the print options, I don't want to print on the first page. So let's take that off there and there is the height as well so I can change that height to be 0.75 and click OK and there we are it's shrunk and is also only on one page so let's just do a quick publish and switch over to the Power BI service and just do a quick refresh. Move on to the next page. And there we are, we've got our report name at the top there, but we still haven't got the repeating row for the table. So let's switch back to the report builder. So this is part of the table. So I'm gonna click in the table to select that. And what I need to be able to see, okay, is to be able to do some properties of that top row. So what we're gonna do is on the view ribbon, I am going to tick on grouping. And that opens some boxes down the bottom here. Okay, so I've got row groups and column groups. We'll deal more with those in another video. But this is where we do our repeating rows. So I'm gonna click the down arrow on the right hand side of column groups and click advanced mode. And this brings up the statics. So I'm going to then click on the, in the row groups, click on the static there. And then over on the right hand side, there is a property. Let me make that a little wider so we can see it. Okay, so repeat on new page, it says false. So we're going to put that to be true. Okay, and then let's publish that and see the change there. Quick refresh. And let's go on to page two. And there we are, we've got our headers in there and our title of our report. So 
in this video we added in a header from page two onwards and we also added in a repeating row on our table. Tomorrow we're going to have a look at groups and totals. So if you haven't already please press subscribe. Take care now.